maybe they think about us, uh, you are not Jewish. So maybe they will change their uh, image. Because they see you coming to be part yeah. of the Bible competition. Yeah. Yeah. Sintayu Shifaro's father and half-sisters and brothers emigrated to Israel 17 years ago. Sintayo, however, is just here on a visit. He still lives in Ethiopia with his mother and brother. There are among 10,000 Ethiopians who say that they're Jewish and are still waiting to be granted citizenship by the Israeli state. It is very difficult to live in Ethiopia, especially if you Jew, it's very, very uh, difficult. We want to go to Israel, but the government do not uh, decide to take us to Israel. Do you know why the Israeli government has said no? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes he, he, uh, the government, they take uh, some people from Ethiopia, but sometimes they stop. And if your sister go to Israel, and you stay in Ethiopia, it's not fair. Israel was established in 1948 to provide a safe haven for Jews after the horror of the Holocaust. And in the 1980s and 90s, Israel airlifted tens of thousands of Jews to the country from Ethiopia and granted them Israeli citizenship. But now, attitudes seem to be changing, as exemplified by Sintayo's case and by the case of Yehuda Kimani, the leader of a small Jewish community in Kenya, who last year traveled to Israel to study but was denied entry at the airport. Rabbi Andrew Sachs, leader of the non-Orthodox Mazorti Judaism movement in Israel, argued his case at a committee hearing in the Knesset.